The Indian rupee has been making headlines for the last one month and not for the right reasons. The rupees hit a record low, an all-time low of 80 rupees against the dollar. What that essentially means is that you'll now have to shell out more rupees for the dollar. But I know a lot of you ask this question, how does it matter to us? How does it matter what the rupee weighs against the dollar? And why is it that every currency right now is weighed against the dollar? We're going to be explaining all of that for you in this video. Essentially, the US dollar is involved in about 85% of international trade and about 40% of loans globally are sanctioned in US dollars. The US dollar's share of foreign currencies in international banks is more than 64%. Our imports from the United States are more than what we export there. This essentially means that the dollars that we get from the United States is less than what we need to actually give them. So because we need to pay more for the goods that we get, we need to get in dollars from the bank to be able to pay them. And that's how the currency, the US dollar supremacy, essentially has been established. But who exactly decides the value of the rupee? Is it the Indian government or the United States? Well, there isn't an exact direct answer to this. And the fact of the matter is that no one actually decides the value of the rupee. Foreign currency exchange rates are largely decided by two things, by demand and by supply. More imports means more dollars purchased and that thereby reduces the value of our currency. And if exports are more, that means your dollars are flowing into the country and thereby automatically, to explain it quite simply, the value of our currency of the rupee goes up. But there's also an upside to the rupees fall. Non-resident Indians, and these are in countries like the United States, of course, the UAE or the UK, can actually send more money home because the exchange rates right now are in their favor. So a question that keeps coming up, can't the government just print more notes and take care of this crisis? So we've been seeing that the crude oil prices have also been going up and because of the increase in crude oil prices, transportation of goods, of services, also automatically goes up. There's essentially a ripple or domino effect of everything in the economy. Thereby, everything becomes a lot more expensive, everything becomes more costly. The government simply cannot print more currency because more money in the system will increase demand for goods and services. And yes, join the dots, that means that goods and services will become scarce, hyperinflation will then happen. And all of the currency notes, the coins that you have, will simply not be able to buy anything. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.